Good evening. And this is also what Brickley says. So he's making this video. He's just hamming it up. He also says, Welcome to the 1904 Summer Olympics. Well, uh, what's the where we're at? 1904. To uh, most of the events were held between August 29th and September 3rd, and which is during the World's Fair that was in St. Louis between July 1st and November 23rd. 12 nations and 651 athletes participated. You know, mostly affected by the Russo Japanese War, and also difficulty getting to St. Louis, causing the low numbers. The first, second, and third place medals that we observed today was started at these games. Boxing, dumbbells, freestyle wrestling, and decathlon began at these Olympics. Yeah, then there was a marathon. Let's see. It was run during the day in the midst of a, I think it was 30-ish degrees. Here's where some of the highlights that actually happened. It was pretty hot. There was like one drinking station. Somebody wanted to do an experiment and see how well they ran without water and they could stay hydrated. Or it, That was a blow up. Didn't help that their horses and Model T automobiles that were racing by that were causing dust. Dust clouds that, that some of the runners had to inhale. It's a lot it's caused a lot of them to not finish. Thomas Six ended up winning it despite having several doses of rat poison mixed with egg whites and brandy. And he almost ended up dying at the stadium if it wasn't for a bunch of doctors who realized what the problem was like okay we need to fix this now or uh, yeah okay Felix Carvajal of Cuba finished fourth now it was actually a last one of those last minute entries it's like Showed up at the house. Hey, can I race? Yeah, sure. Is this new? Looked at the shorts. We need to turn your pants and the shorts. Cargo pants and the shorts. And saw this footwear. I think he had boots on. So, yeah, okay. You need shoes. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Ended up giving him some shoes and something decent to run with. Finish, he fin ended up finishing fourth despite. On his on his run, spotted an apple tree. He's like, okay, a couple apples, I'll have some of these. Turns out they're rotten. So he, uh, he got a little bit ill. Decided he's going to take a little snooze. A little while later, he gets up. Oh, I have a marathon to finish. End up finishing. So that was some of the highlights in the marathon, that 1904 marathon. I think there's a... I think there's a video about it on YouTube somewhere about this marathon and the gong show that happens. Like, uh, leave you hitting your head on your desk or something. It's like, it was, yeah. Now you had seen as though the U.S. was a home nation and there was hardly any other, other nations. They won all but 49 medals. They had 76 gold, which led everybody. They had 78 silver, which led everybody. And 77 bronze, which led everybody, with 231 total, which led everybody. And there were 280 medals awarded. Yeah, so they, they probably had a whole lot of podium sweeps. They didn't, they didn't, I didn't see any lists, but there were probably a whole bag of them. No one doubted. Canada w went home with four gold, one silver, one bronze for six total. So that's how they did. So yeah, so if you can find the, the video on the 1904 marathon, watch it and then tell me what you think about it. 
because that was pretty bizarre. Yeah, and I was like, even hitting my head on that. Yeah, you get, you get the idea. So, so that was pretty much some of the highlights that happened in St. Louis in 1904. Tomorrow, we go to London for the 1908 Summer Olympics. And the fun there. Was it bizarre as St. Louis in 04? Well, let's find out tomorrow. Okay? Cheers. Until tomorrow, stay tuned.